Ira Busto's coverage of the 2017 IPCPR trade show is brought to you by Kvita Cigars. Uh, Justin Randolph, I'm with uh, Battleground Cigars. Uh, right up front here, we've got our Lincoln Bourbon. Uh, this guy is, uh, I would consider our flagship stick. Um, it uh, comes in 10 count tubes just like this, displayed just like this. The uh, boxes are actually handcrafted uh, by our owner, Mike Tarnowitz himself. So it's really craftable. Uh, I mean, he puts a lot of work and effort into it. Uh, what happens with this guy, he sits in an old Woodford Reserve barrel over here. Um, just an example, um, it sits in these barrels, soaks in some of that leftover bourbon. Uh, we don't add any liquor to it. It's not really infused, even though you know, technically there's like an infused, there is a taste of the bourbon left in the cigar. So I guess you can consider that. But um, this is uh, my best selling cigar. Uh, I know sales for this guy have been outstanding lately. Um, so our flagship cigar, the Lincoln Bourbon, uh, over here, we've got um, what is known as our um, General Armistead cigar. Um, it's our Masonic themed cigar. Uh, we have a really, really good following uh, with this guy. Uh, this has become our second best selling cigar. Brazilian Maduro wrapper, Connecticut Broadleaf Binder, Dominican Maduro Long Fill. Um, this is probably uh, one of the other cigars that I love to go to. Uh, and it's crazy, I've learned a lot about Freemasons and uh, there's a lot of them and uh, they do, they absolutely love this stick. Uh, lastly, I've got the uh, Darby's over here. Actually, here. Yeah, and it's here. Uh, with the Darby over here, kind of the same process with the uh, with the Lincoln. Uh, this guy actually right here, believe it or not, uh, Mr. Cutlight Smoke over here. Uh, this is the only infused cigar he said he liked. Now I don't know if he's just saying that to be nice, but uh, I actually think it's really good. But I prefer the bourbon uh, a lot more than the Darby. Same process. This one actually is a little bit longer. It sits in a barrel for about almost 90 days actually. So it gets more the uh, gets more of the stronger whiskey taste. The whiskey we use there is uh, called Letzlinger. It's a uh, Ranger owned uh, company. Um, so to support our military, being an Army vet myself, and uh, our company being huge supporters of the service. Um, that's what we went with on that guy. That's what we got.